Hey everyone, Chef Amasi again. Again, the chef that isn't a chef, but uh, a cook that needs to eat to survive. So today I'm going to do a uh, meat sauce that um, actually I've done meat sauces before, uh, different ways, different, different variations, but nothing where I can uh, I show the uh, whoever uh, the non cooks out here like us quick and easy, fast way to do it, and hopefully it'll turn out good. Uh, what I did already is I chopped up a medium onion and I diced up uh, really four cloves of garlic. I'm going to be using extra lean ground beef 93.7, which is extra lean. Uh, and I'm, this time, I'm going to use pork mixed in with it too because I've never done it with pork uh, meat sauce or meat anything with pork, ground pork. So well, I'm going to try and see what happens and then um, we'll go along with it. But right now, I'm just going to saute, uh, brown off the meat. Then I'm going to add the onions and the garlic to get them uh, fragrant and translucent. And then we'll go from there. All right, great, thanks. Since the, uh, the ground beef and the pork, ground pork, were very, very lean, there's hardly any uh, liquid coming out, so I don't need to drain it. Um, so I'm going to leave it in there. But I am going to add just a, uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon or two tablespoons of olive oil uh, to give it some richness to it so it won't uh, stick and burn. The, the meat is browned. The onions and the garlic are, are sauteing in there. Um, and then in a minute or two, I'm gonna start adding seasonings and spices. Uh, basically, it's gonna be, I'll do it now, what the heck. Salt, of course. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do some pepper. All right, some pepper. We're uh, also gonna add, uh, uh, nothing yet. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, about a quarter of a cup of uh, red wine. Is that a quarter? Eh, what the heck, then? I'm using this masher here that I found that I forgot I had uh, back when I was selling Pepper Chef. It's to mash like ground beef, stuff like that. Um, and um, I guess you use it to make mashed potatoes too, right? Either way. So I'm using this. and uh, Let that simmer a little bit. Oh yeah, there it is. What's a little bit of oregano here. And instead of using tomato sauce and and making the sauce from scratch, um, Aristeter had this Classico brand on sale. Um, buy two, get three free or something like that. So uh, this particular one is a marinara with plum tomatoes and olive oil, which is pretty basic. So this baby's going in. We'll see if this is enough. I'm just let it simmer now. Oh, that's pretty thick. Let's see here. Why don't we just add another one? All right, here's another. This one says Cabernet Marinara with herbs. Now about this time, you can start, uh, if you make spaghetti or some kind of a pasta dish, you can start boiling your water. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do in a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna let this simmer. And I'm gonna come back and say, well, I'll taste it now. Hmm, all right. How about we add, well, that's good, wow. I should leave it alone, but I wanna add a little bit of sweetness to it. And I've got some agave here. So instead of honey or sugar, I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, 
agave in there to cut the the, the uh, tomato in this, if that's a word. So we just let that simmer for a little bit, and um, I chopped up some fresh parsley that I grow. I mean, not parsley, my bad. Uh, fresh basil. Mmm, that smells good. We'll just let that simmer for a while. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, boil my noodles, so that's not a big deal. And then we'll come back. Okay, while we were on commercial break, I went ahead and um, boiled my uh, um, angel hair pasta. I used probably half a box, uh, one pound box. You can hear this uh, meat sauce simmer. Uh, I'll let it cook down so it'll be nice and thick and rich. But can you hear it? And can you smell it? Uh, it tastes really, really good. And for an added bonus this time, I, uh, I, this, uh, I didn't have any baguettes, but I, I had some sourdough bread sliced up and I um, made me some, um, whoops, some hot stuff there, jeez Louise. So, so ready to go with it. And so we are now ready to plate this baby and see where it goes. So um, just to let you know, this uh, lean ground beef and uh, pork may be the ticket for future uh, plates. Look at that. And I was going to sprinkle some fresh Parmesan on this thing, but what I had in the refrigerator had been sitting there for a while, so it basically rolled it up. So that's out of the question. But you know what? I yep, there goes my wine all over the floor. Can't have it without feta cheese, all right? And that's it. I'm just a nice with a mess of the floor with all this damn uh, 14 hands red wine. And this is my masterclass for us non-cooks.